Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage and welcome back to episode 25 of Total War Warhammer. Just before I start, I would like to say a big thank you to one of my patron supporters, Bell Owen, for sponsoring this video. He really enjoys the Total War Warhammer series, so I will try and do my best in this game not to screw things up. And remember to all of you guys that uh, do support me on Patreon, uh, it is really, really appreciated. It really helped me out last month when my microphone decided to die and I was able to replace it and carry on making videos without the support of you guys I probably uh, either would have had to have stopped making videos or at least taken a break until I was able to get my equipment replaced anyway it is time we carry on we are still continuing with a siege over here now we have got this very annoying um, green skin guy that is constantly trying to assassinate me so we need to try and assassinate him it, it, we do have a grudge to complete by doing that so it's definitely worth it uh, what have we got here? A military alliance with Carrick Norn. Sure, why not? Let's go for it. We have almost finished with the green skins. I know it doesn't seem like it, because uh, we're playing the waiting game with the um, sieges. And the thing is with the sieges, um, there's, there's no point just outright attacking, because you really need to have the siege engines to get over the walls and through the doors. Without that, it's pretty difficult. Uh, the Empire in Avalon have formed a confederation. Block Army Success is still doing that to me, which is very annoying. Um, Bretonia and Artois have formed a confederation. So let's go ahead and we'll try once again and see if we can assassinate this annoying little git. No, I don't want the, the army. I just want to select um, Githian. And if Githian can try and assassinate him again, and it was a success, that should complete the grudge, and it does. So that repays the money. Um, and you've got some extra stuff. You probably can't embed in this turn. You guys should be continuing with this. And they are actually getting uh, attrition now. So we could go and do it manually, but I think we'll just wait for them to surrender. No point fighting if I don't have to fight. And then we'll probably go over here and take the uh, Black Iron Mine pretty much as quickly as we can. In fact, the green skins look like they've almost completely gone. Uh, they do still have Misty Mountain down here. They've got a couple of places. The purple dwarves are really getting work done. Now, we're probably trying to, going to try, have to try and get a confederation with the purple dwarves soon, because the last thing that I want is them um, holding a lot of territory that I need to hold. Uh, down here in uh, Galbaraz, we are still building things up, and we're waiting for our army to replenish. In the meantime... We need to um, upgrade it to at least a settlement. So let's go ahead and do that. I think we can end the turn again. That said, uh, the army that's being led up here by Christopher, are you a strong enough army to go in here and take... Now, there was something over here that we could have tried to take. It's going to be difficult taking um, Mount Gunbad, I think. No, I think we're okay for now. I think you will just uh, sort of stay here. We might... Yeah, you're going to stay there, actually, because you're useful in defending against any potential attack from the um, Border Princes. And I don't think we have any alliance with them, so we may still be able to declare on the Border Princes at some point. We still don't have anybody that we can trade with. Would you be willing, by any chance, for a defensive alliance? Says they're quite likely. Um, we'll payments. Demand payment. Would you be willing to give me 1500 Possibly. They rejected. Oh, that's a shame. Um, go for the non-aggression pack first, because they're nearly always going to say yes to that. In fact, let's try that with the demand then. So, payments. We want to demand a payment of 1500 Chance low. Okay, so let's go for the non-aggression pact first, and then let's go for the defensive alliance, and then let's ask for some money. So let's try 1500 first. It says moderate. Let's try um, 1200. Still says chance moderate, and they accepted. Brilliant. So we get some free monies. Free monies is always good. Okay, might still be able to do something against the Border Princes soon, so that could be useful. Let's go on to the next turn. Uh, unassigned skill point to Githian the Lynchpin, so obviously he got that for completing that successful assassination. Brilliant. So let's go and um, 
What do we want to give you here? Action against Chaos and Vampiric Corruption reduced by an additional one. Deploying a foreign province. Or extra growth. Or public order. We'll go for the public order because that's if you start taking a lot of settlements, I feel that having the ability to deal with the public order is one of the most useful things. The Empire want to pay me for a military alliance. Okay, we'll probably stay friends with the Empire until... Look, Chaos Warriors are really start, starting to drive south now. We need to deal with the Greenskin so we can go north and deal with Chaos. Um, What's this down here? I haven't seen that flag before, or at least if I have, it's been a while, because I don't really know who they are. Oh, would you look at that. The Stompy Chaos guys are coming from the north. And they're just raising everything as they go. They, they really are getting work done, aren't they? Look at that guy. Terrifying. Yep, the quicker we can deal with the green skins down here, the better. So, we've got to be very, very careful. Getting nervous now. We've detected a force belonging to Tilia attempting to lay ambush in work bad Sterland. Well, they're not really in, in my uh, my place. Income for more buildings minus 15%. Well, that's a bit crap. Um, you are going to go and join the army. Those guys are going to retreat any time now. Um, population surplus, alliance. Do we want to just go with this army and just try and attack now? An auto resolve it would be mostly in our favour. Let's just try and auto resolve it. Should be a decisive victory, and indeed it was. Didn't lose any units. Gained a relatively decent amount of loot. Gained a rank. Um, I think we just want to occupy it. I don't think we need to worry about the cash too much right now. So, Spike Bootlicker, um, our enemy belonging to the Greenskins, has perished in the battle at Karakate Peaks, Eastern Badlands. Now, where was that other army that I saw? I definitely saw another orc flag around somewhere. These guys, who are you? You guys are the um, oh, Red Fang Rebels, I see. So, it's a rebellion that's going on down there. Okay, that's not too bad. So I probably they're probably going to take the Black Iron Mine. There's not an awful lot that I can do about that unless I jump in first and try and ninja it, which is always a possibility. Um, what's the public order like over here? Minus 70 and going down by 2. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? Um, what can we get here? Goat Pastures. More growth. Casualty replenishment rate. We probably want to be working on that. Fairly unique building. Um, oh, of course, you have a skill point now. So let's go and give that to you. Um, melee defense, possibly. Yeah, we will probably have to try and confederate the Purple Dwarves at some point, because they're now got a lot of the land that I would like. Still a few greenskin armies in the way, but I think purple dwarves might be dealing with them for us. We'll try and get all of this nasty greenskin situation dealt with quickly. Uh, you want military? You want to give me t uh, a thousand gold for military access? Sure, I have no problem with that. By the way, Border Princes, I'm coming for you next, just in case you hadn't realised. I will definitely be giving you a kicking. Because they did cause me some pretty serious problems early on in the game. I definitely feel that I should be dealing with them, you know? So, yeah, military access. Um, another faction encountered. Um, Thorgrim has actually gained a rank. That's really nice. You are over here somewhere. And what would we care to give you now? I think we'll give you the uh, weapon strength against greenskins. That seems like the way to go. Your army has fully recovered now. 
So the question is, what do we do? Do we go... I, I reckon we go east and take the easy one first, and then we head... Because there's nothing over here. So I reckon we go down here to the east, take the easy one, and then go back over here and deal with the uh, the fort, which we might have to siege out for a few turns. Then we'll start heading back north. I think that is the, the plan. Um, what is the... It says there's a unique building chain, possibly. Uh, now, what might that be exactly? It's not the Hall of Oaths. Uh, it's none of those, I don't think. Engineer's Workshop. Um, it doesn't appear to be. Maybe we have to be at a certain size. I don't really know. Um, what do we want to get down here, possibly? Barley field, get some additional growth going? Sure, why not? So, let's get this army down here. Um, we don't take attrition even if we move into there. So, that should be fine. Um, let's go on to the next turn. What's going on up here? Units moving around, units moving around. Yeah, if we can confederate with the Purple Dwarves, we will have a lot of, um, a lot of territory. But Chaos is really sweeping in now from the north. And I haven't even uh, attempted to fight the vampire counts yet at this point. Again, this is my first game, so maybe things have just been a little bit slow. Um, uh, you know, if I played, if I started again from scratch, maybe I'd be a little bit quicker and not quite so passive. And um, maybe things would be better. Border Princes want military access. Um, do you know what? No. We're not friends. We're not going to be friends. You're about to be dead. As soon as I feel like I've, uh, I don't have to worry about watching my southern borders for the Greenskins anymore, I'll be coming over to deal with you. Looks like the Empire's um, falling pretty hard against um, against the Chaos Warriors, which is worrying to say the, the least. Can we get? Oh no! Archeon has been sighted. He leads a host of immeasurable power. Do not face him in battle unprepared. That's fine. I, yeah, we'll see what happens. But I think that's the case of, if you go for that guy, you better have your best army ready. I think that's what it's saying. Um, how are things going on down here? There you are. Can you reach that in a single turn? I think you can, actually. Destroy them. Um, well, we can auto-resolve that nice and easy. Oh, we never did assign that um, standard, did we? We should give that to like one of the Longbeards or something. Um, very good victory for us. Um, didn't gain a rank, though. So we could sack it. I don't think we need the gold, actually. I think we just occupy. I think we just occupy, and then um, we move back over and deal with, uh, with this one on the west. That seems like the best thing to do. Now, what about up here? They did actually take the Black Iron Mine. So I think we take this army. And I think we... They're dealing with the south. So I think we go on to our underway stance. And I think we just try and work our way over to... Um, Mount Gunbad before they get there. Before the Purple Dwarves get there. I shall take it for myself. I shall not be allowed to have it. Greenskins have still got some stuff going on to the north, of course. Um, who is this? You want to give me some money for a military alliance? That is fine. Most of the people you're at war with, I'm already at war with anyway, I think. So that shouldn't be a problem. I think everybody's just basically trying to rally together against Chaos at the moment anyway. The fact that I'm further south, which I think is the main reason why the Dwarves are considered one of the easier races to play as. Because you're so far south, you're one of the last people to sort of encounter the, the Chaos uh, forces. Obviously, we did see some Chaos forces coming from the south, but, you know, it's the Greenskins that really have to deal oh, with Lord. them. The fates have surely selected you for greatness. Oh, brilliant. So now we've got ourselves a little bit of bonus money there. 
Uh, objective issued. Occupy, loot, raise, or set 14 different settlements for 8,000. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Uh, what about up here? Can we build something? What did we want to build? We wanted to get the engineer's workshop, didn't we? So let's start working on the engineer's workshop. Over here, we would probably like to get... Um, I guess we could wait until we can get a level 3. Oh, we cannot build. You cannot construct this building before the first building. Before building any buildings earlier in this chain. Oh, no, because we've already got one. That's why. So we need to upgrade you. Um, well, considering that the um, sparring chamber only goes up to level 3, I think if we build a sparring chamber here, we can get rid of the sparring chamber here. And get rid of the mustering hall. So that's kind of what I'm going to go for there. That seems like the uh, the sensible thing to do. Um, keep upgrading this one as well. What's our public order like here? It's uh, not going up any. Let's go ahead and start working on a refectory. Let's go ahead and get the lumber yard. Uh, running out of money now. We have um, another tech. Missile damage for thunderers. Still haven't got any of those. More ammunition for artillery and cheaper artillery upkeep. Yep, let's go for that. Anything that saves us a bit of money is probably worth it in the long run. Um, let's just go and have a look at that um, army down in the south. You really haven't really taken any losses. The public order here is going up. Um... I mean, we could untax it. It's probably worth also getting a refectory, which we can't build on this turn. But you've got plenty, so let's start moving. Oh, we're actually taking attrition there, are we? I didn't realise that. It's too late now. I can't change. Uh, I can't change my stance. I just have to. Uh, just have to make my peace with that one. Um, so we'll start moving back over to the west, so we can siege out that other one. I'm just hoping that um, the Empire is strong enough to deal some damage to the Chaos Warriors. I don't want to see the Empire fall to them. Um, you want a military alliance now? That will probably put us at war with the Vampire Counts if we weren't already. And I don't think we were at war with the Vampire Counts, but they most likely will be. You want a non-aggression pact. Who are you? You are... Um, the Southern Realms. Yeah, you're miles away. So I'm happy to have a non-aggression pact with you for now. Um, you want a non-aggression pact as well. Yep, you're not the ones I'm coming for immediately. It's only really the Border Princes. I think I'll probably try and leave the humans till last. Uh, we'll go for the, the Border Prince. Well, I say we'll go for the Border Princes. They are the only humans that I want to attack. Then we'll leave the humans alone. Sort of start helping out with Chaos if we can. Maybe taking out some of the Vampire Counts along the way. Bretonia has joined a confederation with Leoness. Now then, you guys took some attrition because I was stupid. Um, but we can move you to here and we can yes. encamp you. So that's fine. Um, we can now go ahead and get the ref um, refectory. So let's go ahead and do that. We can get you upgraded, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, lots of military alliances, lots of things going on. Yeah, yeah, I know I was taking attrition. That was just stupid, really. Um, let's see if we can get up to that. Um, where is our army? You should be trying to get up here as quickly as possible. Now, where is it we've got to get to? Up there. So, head there. What do you mean, doubtful? Have to do it on the next turn if we can. We will get there. Um, so, what do we want to do here? Yeah, you were going to keep upgrading. This is the one in Death Pass. Maybe we don't need to do that, actually. Um, let's put you up to rank 3. Yeah, you don't need to be there because we need this one up. Okay, should be good. Let's end the turn. It looks like we might end up having to do a couple of sieges again as well. 
Uh, I need to have a look and see if there's anybody else that we can trade with. We don't really have many trades going on at the moment. The Empire is definitely having some problems with chaos. Marienburg looks like they're about to be on the receiving end of it as well. Okay, so a couple of things that I want to do before I forget. First of all, over here, we want to upgrade this to the clan barracks. When we get it up to the third one, we will get rid of the one that we have down here. Um, that's fine. Refectory construction has been completed. So you guys, I, I want to keep moving you up so we can try and grab that one. Oh, the game's just sort of frozen up there. Also notice the uh, the grudge thing is like at its top severity right now. Um, can we get any more trades with anybody right now? No, we cannot. Uh, why are the grudges maxed out? We will be going to war with the uh, Border Princes soon. So, where is it? Is I, do I have more grudges? Oh, there's a whole other page, or is there? No, there's only two grudges that we actually have to get rid of. Which we should be able to deal yes. with. So you guys need to unencamp. And you get 50% of your movement, which is pathetically small, really, to try and get anywhere. But that will allow you to encamp ah, again. So we are definitely getting rid of the, uh, the green skins. There's, there's fewer and fewer of them. In fact, I think they've only got four, five... Uh, there's three there, four and five in the southwest. So that's five settlements. Um, oh, they lost Black Iron Mine again. Five, six, seven is the one up here. Eight, nine. Yeah, I think they've got nine settlements. I could have just checked that, I suppose, by going here. Yeah, they've got nine settlements, so at least I can count. So I've, pro I've proven that. Um, I'm just wondering if it's worth move it carry on moving this army up to the north to try and take uh, Mount Gunbad, or whether it's worth doubling back south and trying to take the Black Iron Mine again. They are sieging it down, so they probably will get it before I get there. I think I just go north and take these uh, ones that are up in the mountains. I think that's probably the best idea for me. Then we end up up here next to the uh, the red. Let's call them the red dwarves, uh, Carrot Kadrin, and um, see they they're sort of on the uh, the eastern side of the vampire counts. So that might 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 make life a little bit interesting. Either way, that is something that we will be doing in another video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Total War Warhammer. I appreciate I'm not the best person at Total War Games, but I am doing my best to try and make this an interesting playthrough and not completely suck at it. That's mostly what I'm uh, going for at the moment. Once again, a huge thank you to my uh, Patreon sponsor, Belowen, for sponsoring this video. Again, your donation is very much appreciated. I'll see all of you guys on the next video. Until then, goodbye for now.